Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is David Novak. This is a channel wherein I talk about books. Sometimes I will delve into poetry, but that's about it. However, today I decided that I would shake things up a bit. Uh, recently on John David's channel, also primarily about books, he did a nice video showing his collection of perfumes, uh, scents, colognes, however you wish to call them, ouds, I believe. And I thought I would do something akin to that. Uh, also at uh, Beyond Books, hosted by Renee, uh, there has been recently a three-part series about pottery, uh, showing the, the process whereby a uh, vessel, I guess you would say, is made from uh, raw clay through to the final firing. And I myself have, over the years, slowly, I would say, garnered a bit of a love for pottery. We recently had an exhibit at the Art Institute of Chicago featuring contemporary Japanese female uh, ceramicists. Uh, really wonderful stuff. Uh, I, I believe uh, ceramics in Japan are at the forefront of the art. Um, this book here is a book which I famously DNF'd, did not finish. I tried to read it some years ago and was utterly unable to uh, make any headway. Uh, I am traditionally not a very good reader. In the last couple of years, I have been devoting myself to the practice, and I am getting better, so maybe one of these days I will get there and uh, accomplish this a uh, little bit. The videos that I've mentioned, uh, I will put into the description box below. I am going to try to put as the thumbnail to this video a, a set of five condiment bowls, uh, which we, my partner and I, used to own. Uh, the picture is taken from online. Um, at one, actually two separate occasions, Cats got into the cabinet and managed to destroy four out of the five bowls. And uh, I had one remaining, and it is not locatable at the moment. Um, and that is one of the pitfalls with ceramics. Um, they are breakable. Uh, I have hauled everything from the uh, kitchen into this room. And I will probably have to be uh, getting up all the time to uh, grab the bowls and then place them back where they will not be in danger. There are no cats in this room except for one guy sleeping up there. And with any luck, he will be sleeping this whole time. Um, so those condiment bowls, we, they were broken uh, just, I would say, at the start of COVID, at which point in time travel uh, was impossible, and we sorely missed them. Uh, I tried all kinds of ways online, uh, found a guy in, uh, uh, there's a, a shopping mall in uh, uh, Vancouver, uh, where there's a, a nice ceramics shop, an import shop, and the proprietor at one point had listed them and contacted him, but he, uh, he could not obtain them. Um, they're a bowl which is readily found all over Japan. Um, a lot of shops will have uh, a little table out front with their, their 50 cent items or dollar items, what have you. And that's where those came from. But they were 
eminently useful to us. Uh, there, an awful lot of cooking goes on in this household, and we use them uh, as uh, a, pl a place to put our, our, our ingredients before they went into the pot. So the garlic would go there, the, the chopped up ginger, and so forth. Very useful, uh, indispensable if you have a, a working kitchen. Um, so uh, unable to get those, we wound up uh, going to a local store here. Uh, over the last decade, Asian markets in the Chicago area have increased. Uh, it used to be impossible to get much. And generally, an Asian marketplace will have a, a small section devoted to uh, ceramics, dinnerware, that kind of thing. And we wound up picking up these, these little white bowls. I, I am not a professional videographer. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I want to show you our bowls. Uh, so we picked this up. Um, last year, as the COVID threat receded somewhat, we went to Japan and we did indeed find all of those bowls, but we had gotten so used to using these plain white bowls that we decided we much preferred those now. Um, so I'm going to show you all kinds of uh, bowls that are in active use pretty much every day. And the reason I want to do that is, uh, well, uh, I, uh, in the small booktube community, uh, it's always enjoyable to see little bits and pieces about each other's personal interests and hobbies. Uh, I don't know that this would be a hobby, but it is an aspect of life uh, in this household, we eat every single day, and uh, I've come to realize that eating out of uh, nice bowls really uh, adds a dimension to the aesthetics of life that growing up, I knew nothing about. Now, these, these two little things here are just, uh, we're not even sure what they're for, tea or, or sake or something, who knows. Um, but one time we were heading toward a temple and there was uh, one of these proverbial tables uh, with these odds and ends out there uh, for sale. And so we picked those up just because they're, they're lovely. So I will show you some other, other things that are quite lovely and some other things that are perhaps not quite so lovely. So I showed you the white ones that we use as condiment bowls. Now this is not going to all be Asian ware. I'll show you some of the domestic stuff. Now this is uh, made in China, of course, but the, these are little things we got from Gethsemane, the garden shop. Uh, sorry for my uh, lack of photographic ability. And these, these we don't use uh, for food prep, but if what we are eating requires a dipping sauce or, or something like that, these are the bowls that we would use for that. Um, because it is near, let me just show you these. These are really nothing special. Um, kind of uh, clumsy, really, but it was one of those cases which occurs uh, sometimes in America where uh, we had uh, some, some kind of store credit from Crate and Barrel, uh, a, a certain amount of money, like $15, that had to be used by a certain date. Uh, and so um, my partner went in and uh, looked at what was the options and got those two bowls. And we use them, they're, they're, they're very serviceable. I should say when it comes to the uh, ceramic pieces that I'm going to show, the taste 
generally speaking, is my partner's. Um, I don't have quite so a refined aesthetic sense as she does. However, um, I occasionally have fallen in love with a bowl myself. And so uh, that's, uh, that's how our collection has gradually come together. I also should point out that none of these are expensive bowls at all. They're, they're uh, probably the most you're going to be talking about would be uh, uh, something like a, an $8 bowl, and that is a rarity. Uh, oftentimes we're talking $3. Um, and so I'll just start to show show them. Well, let me show you some, some local stuff, though. Just what the heck. The, these are from Ikea. Um, we really liked them when we saw them uh, back when. Uh, again, these, these are also in constant use in the food prep process. Um, but... Over time, uh, well, we have gotten replacements that uh, actually we like better. And I'll, I'll set them up here. As I say, indispensable when you have a, an active kitchen. All of these came from Costco, so it was $10, so a dollar a bowl. But they're, they, over, over the couple of years that we've been using them, they have really become favorites. So let me just show you a little bit. Uh, again, uh, nothing, nothing perhaps outlandishly special, uh, but as an item that you, you are in contact with on a daily basis, they have proven to be a joy. So, as I say, it's a set of 10 and it was for about $10. Um, the way uh, the store operates is things appear, uh, it's a good deal, and then uh, disappear and that's the last you ever see of them. So we are lucky that we snatched those. Now let me, let me go grab a, a couple of other things So these, these were just picked up in Evanston uh, at a local shop. Um, they're uh, made in China, of course. Each one has this, this lovely little frog at the bottom. And then you can, you can see the design goes all the way around. Just really, really lovely pieces. I'm not uh, in all cases going to know where the bulls that I'm showing came from, uh, but these I do. These were probably the, the first bulls that we bought in Japan uh, that really sort of piqued our interest. And they were uh, from Kyoto. Uh, I can't remember the name of the street, but uh, the, the, two, the two subway lines cross right there. And um, there was a house, housewares or house goods shop, and they happened to have these bowls for sale. So ceramics was not the, uh, not the primary purpose of the store. And... We liked them, and we bought them. We started using them, and uh, it it started the habit, I guess you would say, or started the hobby. Uh, next, I will show you a, a couple of things that came from uh, Kamakura or Kamakura. Um, if you've been there, you know there's a, a little shopping street, and there used to be, uh, probably still is, a uh, small dealer of ceramics uh, up on the second floor. Now this, 
we were so impressed. It was it was uh, there as a, a deal, and uh, we, there, we we grabbed them. I think there were there they had it in this color and in a, a red color or something, and it we were just so enthralled by it. Um, but um, over over time, it's it's kind of a fragile piece. Um, it, it it looks stunning at first, uh, but over time, it's just become not really one of our favorites. Um, inside, you've got it, it, possibly it's it's just that it's too showy. And but these bowls, I know, came from that shop, and they've they've really been wonderful. Um, you can see the color a little bit better. Each one has that stripe down there. Um, I wish the lighting were better for you, but I'm doing the best I can here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, as I say, these, these bowls are, are in use pretty much, pretty much all the time. Let me get some more. Now from here on, I, I don't really remember where these bowls came from. This is a nice green pear. Um, Uh, this is this is the anomaly of the set. These this belonged to my partner from years past, uh, but it's it it sits with the ones we've picked up in Japan. All, all of these are are Japan unless otherwise noted. This is a, a nice little. Let's let's see. That's really, really sweet. Uh, just lovely, lovely bowls. What to do to, so you can see the, the little speckled exterior. I believe these may have come from the Tapabashi Street in Tokyo. Um, after, after we had gotten those first uh, bowls in Kyoto, uh, through research and whatnot, we found out about uh, Kapabashi Street and made a point to go there the next time. So speaking of Kapabashi, um, these are nice bowls that we tend to use if we're eating udon. Um, I don't know how well you can see the color on this. It's uh, the background here does not help. Uh, you get a little of the interesting, 
interesting story about these. We've, we've used them for years. Um, one time we met some friends at uh, a, a Japanese restaurant in Chicago. Oh, no, it's not in Chicago. It's, it's just outside of Chicago called Rengate, um, the only restaurant in Chicagoland that old time Japanese people uh, swear by. Uh, and they were using the exact same bowls, so they had obviously shopped at that same shop in Kapabashi. Um, so, now this is, this is the exact same bowl type, uh, just a, a real sort of typical pattern that you will see. Um, it's utilitarian more than anything, no so, sort of artistic flourish, but very, very useful. Um, so we, we alternate between those for uh, noodles or, or, or big, big soupy noodles, that sort of thing. Now, if you're, if you're going to have a, um, an instant ramen or something, uh, we, we try not to do too much of that. And, and if, uh, if we do go for instant noodles, it, it, it will tend to be uh, w one particular Korean brand of jajangmyeon, uh, but we've, we, we find these, these bowls to be particularly useful. So, again, utilitarian. Uh, don't really need to see both of them, but, uh, you know, the, the really lovely thing about Asian bowls is they do tend to put a base to them so that the whole thing does not heat up. And this is another set of the same shape. So we alternate between the two. Um, whoops. A little bit more character, I guess. Something of a similar size. These are just really lovely traditional Chinese bowls. Um, uh, let's see if I probably I'll show you the, the outside if I can. It sounds like a cat is up, so that might uh, that might be an issue. And this this bowl I just had to show you. It uh, belonged to my partner uh, from years ago, and its its main purpose it's a it's a domestic uh, product from the the United States. Its main function has been to uh, be the uh, vessel wherein we reconstitute mushrooms when we're doing our, our food prep. Uh, it's a marvelous, marvelous bowl for that. It can even take the, the minute uh, microwaving or whatever to uh, try to get the, the water a little bit warm. These bowls, uh, actually the next uh, several that I will show you are um, primarily ice cream bowls. Uh, that's not to say that they uh, couldn't be used for other purposes, but that's what we tend to do with them. So ice cream. Uh, uh, these, these also came from a, a shop in Kapabashi. So really, really lovely plain interior. Now, we did get back to Japan last year at the uh, end of COVID, uh, at the so-called end of COVID. And at the uh, top of Kiyomizu Temple, there's shops, and there is one place um, that has ceramics. And I'm wondering, 
did I go past? Oh, I, I must have gone past. Uh, let's. Mm. These also came from that shop. I don't know if that I showed you them, but uh, at the, t the, the this from years ago, uh, they had offered for sale this and the same thing in a green color, uh, and we opted to go for the the white, um, which was a little thicker. For some reason, the ones that were green uh, were thinner and and just seemed more fragile so they've been they've been very useful uh, but back to the ice cream these uh, these two bowls are also primarily used for ice cream fortunately we eat a good good enough amount of ice cream around here um, and these are from that same shop uh, at Kiyomizu temple area and they were also the the shop is lovely, and you can go inside and buy all kinds of expensive bowls. But these these were from the odds and ends outside that they used to lure you into the shop. And I saw these and liked these. They're a nice, um, a nice solid piece. And my partner noticed these, um, and they're they're a little bit more delicate. Uh, also, lovely though, absolutely lovely. And so, as I say, this will be something that we tend to use for ice cream. Let's see the inside. Coming into the stretch, these these are, are the most recent, or almost the most recent, uh, just found in the local, well, no, not the local, in the further away Park to Shop. Park to Shop is a chain grocery store. Um, and just having to uh, feed our our addiction. We, we picked these up. Um, th th there were uh, only a, a, a couple of them. Uh, I, th I, th I think there was there was there was only like one other one in this left or two others, but they were they, they had imperfections. I mean, what you have to look for, uh, you have to look for things like that. And we we went with one of each. And um, so you can, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it, again, it's it's a, a very utilitarian bowl. I'm sure that you could uh, just throw it into a uh, dishwasher, uh, which uh, I don't do. Uh, but uh, it's also, uh, at least so far, been primarily used as an ice cream bowl. Um, and then I think every, every every everything else is pretty much domestic. Now this. This again is one of those sort of boilerplate patterns. Um, it's a it's a very hefty bowl. Uh, I th I think it it may well have come from uh, Flushing in New York, uh, but uh, the store the store that had it had every uh, every piece of dinnerware imaginable cut into this pattern, and and you you see it all over the place. So it's 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 a very common thing, but nevertheless. Um, Nevertheless, it's just lovely to be eating eating out of something like this. You know. And, well, a couple of more. Uh, this also from the same park to shop. Um, we just, we just were mad that day. Um, each each bowl was three dollars, and uh, haven't haven't eaten out of anything like this before, so um, decided to go for it. Um, uh, again, they uh, 
they tend to, uh, made in Japan, yeah, they tend to uh, have odds and ends, and you're, you're lucky if you can get two of the, two of the same design. Um, so there, there, there you have it. And, and the outside, I should show the outside of the other one as well. So those are, are new in the repertoire, so have not gotten used to using them. Uh, these, these were something of a whimsical purchase. I can't remember where we got them. Might have been, um, uh, might well have been um, Super H, but I'm, I'm not sure. So um, a nice little cat motif. Whoa, look at that. Looks like a fat cat. And then the inside is is like so. Uh, sorry, you can't really see it that well. And they're 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 both pretty much identical. So, well, I, I've been showing both. You know, I mean this this as I say, it's it it doesn't have the individuality of some of the the hand turned things, but still we we really enjoy them. And and then these these last. Uh, Two pieces, which I will show you, came from Anderson Gardens, which is a uh, Japanese garden up in Rockford. Um, and we, we were there and uh, happened to be there on the last day of the season. And so everything in the gift shop was half price or more. And it's just a really, really sweet set. Um, it came in a little box and all of that. Um, so you can see there, each one is the reverse of the other. Um, and it's, it's a, uh, in spite of uh, coming in a box and being half off, it's a uh, bowl that we, we also saw later in flushing. Uh, again, uh, very cheaply. Um, and could have could have loaded up on them, but we decided to stick with what we had. And then these these also came from Anderson Gardens, and they're uh, they look like miniature versions of a, a tea bowl. I I don't know uh, if there's a specific purpose to them. Um, and these out of all the bowls, these these are the. The, the two that we have never used. Uh, I think I tried to use it once as an ice cream bowl, but it, it just didn't work. Uh, yeah, you, you can get maybe one scoop in there, so how good is that? So, these, these are the bowls that we eat from. Um, I... I don't know that I will get to this book, but I hope uh, I have been trying to improve my reading that I will get there. Uh, meanwhile, books are not all. And um, given that a good part of your life is spent eating, uh, it makes sense to do it, I guess, with intentionality, to consider how you do it. And eating out of these different bowls has been a joy. Uh, we are probably at about the limits. As I say, those that I've shown you are used uh, frequently. Uh, but uh, as far as storage, uh, we would probably have to have some kind of special cabinet designed if we were to accumulate any more. Uh, so, for a change from the usual bookish fare. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel.